Hofstra, please, how can I help? Hello there. My partner has been missing since Monday and not contacted anyone. Said she was going away. Hasn't gone, ended up where she said she was going. So I, we just decided we should report it. Oh, yes, it hasn't been reported already? No, it hasn't, no. Okay, right. Um, and she's been missing since Monday? Yeah. Okay, bear with me. So, right, bear with me, so I'll put these details down. Sorry, I can't hear you. Bear with me, I'll put these details down. So she's been missing since Monday? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what's the address that she's missing from? <laughs> and what's the town? <laughs> uh, what's your partner's name? Helen Bailey. Helen Bailey. Is that B A Y L E Y? No, B A I L E Y. And what's her date of birth? Oh, crikey. God, she seems to find me there. 22nd. Right, just let me double check one second. Oh, God. I'm sorry, I'm just double checking. You, as you asked that, it just went straight out of my head. Ah, uh, no problem. 22nd of August, 1954. 54, yeah, 1954. 64. 64, my apologies. No, my fault. Sorry, my, just my brain just went. Sorry. So, so she's gone away, was that for work business, sorry? No, no, she's, she's self-employed, so she works from home. So she, no, she left a note. She said, she said in the note something like, I need space and time alone. I'm going to Broadstairs. Please don't contact me in any way. But in Broadstairs, she's got, we've got a, a cottage down there, but we, people have been down there with neighbours, and she hasn't, she's not there. Hasn't been there either. So, Broadstairs, where is Broadstairs? On the, near, near Margate. Mark Yates. Oh, can I just take a call? Because yeah. someone's just found me. Oh, sorry, no problem. Hello. No, no, I'm actually on, on the phone to the police. Can I come back to you? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Bye. Sorry, I was a friend and she was just asking. Sorry. No problem. So, Paul says that's the properties in Markgate, was that? No, sorry. No, it's a, it's a, no, it's a little cottage we got down there. It's near Margate. Margate, okay. In Margate. Okay. And it says, please do not contact me, yep. I'm sorry, you, you're very quiet. What did you say? Sorry, apologies. It says, please do not contact me as well on the note. Oh, yes, yes. please yep. don't, don't contact me in any way. Okay. And uh, nothing like a deadline when she'd be back or when you could contact her, nothing like that at all? No, this has never happened before, no. And her phone is just dead. It's not what I say dead. Mm -hmm. it, just, it just doesn't ring. It just goes straight to the answer machine. And someone's been to the cottage and... and someone's been to the cottage, yeah. Her brother went there. Did it look like anyone had been in there? No, no, no. Someone went in and it looked, looked, doesn't like anyone's been in there. Did Helen go in the vehicle? No, she didn't. She left her car here. She did take her dog with her. She got a little dachshund. But she could get there by train, or she she could possibly take a taxi. She does do that sort of thing. Okay. And the dog was a, a, a dachshund. Yeah. Dachshund dog. Okay, so I just need to go through some questions with you. Um, if I have to go through them, um, can I tell your name, please? Ian Stewart, S T E W A R T. Oh, wonderful. So, tell me I just got the details that we know at this time. Sorry, did you ask me a question then? Oh no, sorry. I just said oh, I'll just go through these details. I've oh, already sorry. got like her name and birthday. We've got those. So I just put those in quickly. Okay. So, when was the last time you saw her? Monday afternoon before, about about quarter to th quarter to three, twenty to three. And did she say anything to you unusual or? No, nothing before I went out. No, she just asked me to run an errand for an after I had been to the doctors. Okay. And um, she said nothing to you. Then she that was, was she leaving the premises at that time? No, no, she was. I left her here. Oh, you left her. Okay. So you left her about quarter to three or so, and then what time did you return? Oh, oh. must have been. Probably just before five. I didn't actually really notice. Yes, no problem. And that's when you saw the note? I didn't see it straight away. She'd put it on the desk. I didn't see it straight away, no. What sort of time did you realise the note had been left? Oh, I, I don't... About quarter past five, something like that. Yeah, so a few minutes later, yeah. Yeah, not very long. No, not very yeah, long, sorry, yeah. yeah. And was that note a bit of a shock? Were you expecting it at all? No, I wasn't. Well, yes, it was a shock. She has talked about it, but it was still a shock. Yeah. Yes, talk about wanting space because things just haven't been going well for her recently okay. or for us. Okay, so she mentioned wanting space, but she's never actually acted on it. She's not left before. She's never done any of these before, no. Okay. And so at this time, we have no idea where Helen is, no? No one, no. And there's, I've contacted there's four people who basically 
who she would contact her brother two and two best friends and they, they've not heard from her they've assured me they've not heard from her and they said they promised her they would say they and uh, so you've spoken to two of her brothers and two of her friends no I've spoken to her sorry I didn't say that very well I've spoken to her brother John brother. and two of her friends three of her friends effectively but one was indirect I haven't spoken to her directly but someone else has so there's three girlfriends or three women yeah. and her brother and they're the only people who know at the moment because we Oh, and the neighbour, and the neighbours down at Broadstairs sort of have an inkling that we're all concerned. Yeah. But we haven't said it, we haven't told her parents, or my parents, or my sons. Oh, okay, so your parents and Helen's parents aren't aware of this at the moment? Not at the moment, no. Although her brother has spoken to her parents, and he's sure, he's, he's sure she's not there. This may sound silly, but she's definitely not at home, no? No, her brother asked that. I, I, I've literally checked everywhere. We have got quite a large house. But I have literally checked everywhere. Oh, she's never been missing before, no. Not, not since I've, I've known, I've known her five years, but no, and her brother says no. Does she have anything, um, any sort of medical or psychological issues at all? Well, she, she's, got, she's, um, well, she's menopausal. That's the only medical issue she's got. Yeah. But she did have a, well, I don't like to use the word breakdown. So brother said it wasn't a breakdown, but she, she did see a psych, she was in, well, she did see a psychologist, and she was in group therapy. A friend thinks it was probably about ten years ago, maybe longer. Well, she hasn't said much about that to me, but she did go through that, yeah. So, yes, yeah, the answer is to that. Yeah. That was about ten years ago. Well, I think so, yeah. yeah. So, well, that's what I've just told you is all I knew. Yeah, yeah. All I really know, that's all a friend really knows as well. No problem, thank you. Does she take any sort of medication that she critically needs, do you know? No, she's, she's not. She Actually, I've been wanting her to go to the doctor because of why, but she won't go to the doctor. The only medicine she takes is what she buys over the internet, things like herbal stuff, Vitamin, that sort of stuff. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, nothing, no, no medical condition, okay. nothing like diabetes. Or okay, and again, sorry to repeat this, but she's not attempted suicide or self harm ever before, no. No, nef no, nef no, everyone's sure she hasn't, no. Okay, and can she interact safely with other people? Would she be happy going up to someone asking for directions? Oh yes, oh yes, she's a very lit. She's an author. She's a children's author, and she's written books. Yeah, she's no, she's very, she's very good talking to people. And uh, is she ever likely to be a victim of any sort of abuse that you know of? No, I just know she's a very strong person. It's very hard to abuse Helen. I'm actually very strong. She did, this is probably, she lost her husband, well, about just over five years ago. Problem. And that's how I met her, because I lost my partner, and we met through the bere bereavement group. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, and, just, uh, sorry. I don't know if that's relevant, but I just thought you should better tell you. Oh, yeah, I, I can pop that down. It all helps. Um, it may seem a bit random, but is she likely to be involved or subjected to crime at all? Is she saying, what's, I'm sorry, I heard the word crime, but sorry, I don't know. Is she likely to be involved with or subjected to crime? No. No. And uh, could you describe her dog for me, if that's all right? It's a miniature accent. I mean, it's brown. It's, the, yeah. it's, a mock, it's not white. It's a smooth coat miniature accent. Yeah. So it's pretty uh, self-explanatory, right? Is it male, female? It's male. Uh, is it, does it wear a collar or anything? Yes, it does. It wears a yellow collar. Well, it does when, she, when we're out. Well, it doesn't in the house, but it does when we're out, yeah. Yeah. And it, again, pop some more details down, so bear with me if I go quiet. Okay. Okay, so I just need to go through her sort of physical appearance now, if that's all right. Um, so, what sort of, what's her height initially? Oh, I'm going to guess here. I don't she has told me, but she's probably 5'10", just something like that. Quite tall. 5'10", yeah. And what sort of build? Is she slim? Slim. slim. That's easy. No. <laughs> um, her hair colour and style? It's, it's, it's on the shoulder, long. It's She won't like me saying this. It's, it's black, going grey. Grey streak, grey streaky. Not grey streaky, it's going grey. So it's black. It's black. But she's left just left it natural, so it's it's got grey grey highlights in, if you like. Great. Probably the best way to describe it. <laughs> and her eye colour. Her oh, eye colour. Oh my god! How do you forget these things? <laughs> I don't know at the moment. Sorry, it's just gone oh, out of my head. That's no problem. Sorry, God, that's terrible. That's no problem. And her sort of skin colour. Ah, uh, pale, I guess I would say. Yeah. Pale. Oh yeah, is that sort of white pale? Yeah. Yeah, white pale. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But how can I not remember her eye colour? That's terrible. <laughs> All right. And uh, what sort of clothes would she typically wear? What sort of clothes? Yeah. Well, typically, oh, yeah. jeans, jeans and a shirt. Jeans, jeans typically just day to day. 
Does she, does she have a handbag with her? Well, I don't. I have. She's got quite a few. I I don't know. I don't. I would. Start, I would normally yes, but I don't particularly know which one she's no taken. Problem. If if she's taken one. No problem at all. Oh, brilliant. And can I please take down her contact number if that's okay? Of course it is. I'm gonna have to look it up because I have something I can never remember. It's just in my phone. If you know what I mean. Yes, no problem. Yeah. And it's currently been turned off all this time. Well, that's what that's what we think, yeah. Or it's out of service, you know, out of range or... Brilliant. Okay, so I've got that information. Leave that with us. What I will do now is I will send this across to our officers and what we'll do is make some sort of inquiries about her, see if, you know, if, if she might be with police and hospitals, etc. We'll, we'll cover all those bases. Um, if you have any further information, please do give us a call. And what we'll do is give you a call if we have any further or we need any further information, all right? Okay, so what do I do? Do I, Is there anything else to be done now? I mean, I can say no, not not at this time. If I give you have the reference number for this call, it's at four seven five. Four seven five. Yep, and that's of today's date, which is the fifteenth of the fourth. So if I want to ring you, what what do I ring one oh one? That's how I got through to you. Is that the right yeah. way to come? Yeah, if you call us on one oh one, and uh, just say reference number four seven five of the fifteenth of the fourth, and we can find this log and we we'll know exactly what what's going on. Okay. All righty. Would you mind as well if I just take the whole address of the cottage, if that's all right? The whole address of the cottage? Wow. Yeah, you've got it. Righty. I'm not sure if I can give you that. I just go there. Uh, I'm going to have to look that up. I really don't know. I know it's Raglan Place. I can't. I don't know what number it is. I just give you a number. I'm sorry. I'll have to look that up. I'm, <laughs> I really will. I just go there. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know about looking that up somewhere. That's no problem. It's just it's somewhere I would just go and I'm not... I don't think I've ever... I must have the address. I've got the address somewhere, yeah. but I just don't know what it is. Sorry, no. That's no problem at all. I'll let her off know at this time we don't have the cottage address. But if you do find out, just give us a call. Yeah, no, I can, I can, I've got it, obviously, but it's just... It's not something I've never had to write there or anything. So, yeah, OK. okay. All right, then. So, uh, leave, that, leave that with us for the time being, and uh, we'll be in contact with you shortly, OK? So, when you say... Because I'm going to be... Because of a brother's one and two friends. When you say shortly, what we're talking about, a day, two days... It's all dependent. I, I couldn't say. It depends if we know where Helen is, we have any further leads, etc. It just all depends on what information we have. Okay. All right. And um, what's your best contact number? Did I give you my mobile number? Um, I don't believe you have. I've got Helen's. Oh, um, my. So my mobile number is the best contact number. Yep. Excellent. I'll save that in there. Brilliant. So I leave that with that, and again, we'll be in contact as soon as we can. Be all right. So uh, just, just, it's just a question of waiting. There's nothing, nothing else you do at this stage. I say we'll just do our initial inquiries, and yeah, it's just a case of waiting, unfortunately. Okay, okay. Just because I've got to talk to a brother and a two uh, friends, so yeah. yeah. And again, um, if you give them the reference number, if they have any further information, they can always give us a call, and we can add to it. All right. Yeah, to do day after, just because they are well, the brother's in London, another friend's in London, another one's down in. Just to do, I think. All right. Yeah, do, do, can they have, how do they get through to Hertfordshire? I say it will take them through to their, their home county, but they can always ask to be transferred to Hertfordshire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. No problem at all. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.